Hello YouTube, I'm Peter and welcome to my kitchen. For today's recipe, I've made something that is unbelievably simple and unbelievably delicious as well. It's my double chocolate and raspberry tart. Now, it may look a bit complicated when you cut into it and see it, but actually, this tart only has four ingredients for the filling. What you have is a blind baked, gluten free, short crust pastry case. For that recipe, you can go and check out my last video on how to make and blind bake gluten free short crust pastry. And then for the filling, we have a white chocolate ganache with some raspberries put into it, and then on top, a dark chocolate ganache. It's really quick and simple to make, and I think that you guys would love it. So I hope you enjoy the video. To start this bake, you will first need a pre-baked gluten-free pastry case. To see how to make this, you can check out my last video that I've linked in the description. Now we need to make the white chocolate ganache. Bring 100 ml of the double cream up to the boil. Whilst you're heating up the cream, chop 200 grams of the white chocolate into small chunks. I have also put a list of the ingredients in the description box down below. Once the cream has just begun to boil, take it off the heat and throw in the white chocolate. Stir it constantly until all the white chocolate has melted and you have a smooth, shiny ganache. If the chocolate doesn't all melt, put the pan back onto a very low heat and stir it until it has all melted and is lovely, smooth and shiny. Now pour the still warm ganache into the pastry case. It should come about a third of the way up the case. Edge it into the corners of the case and let it level off. Whilst the ganache is still liquid, push the raspberries down into the mixture, working from the outside in. Try to pack them in tightly together and make sure they aren't taller than the pastry case. Now leave this in the fridge to chill for at least two hours. Once the white chocolate ganache has set, we can make the dark chocolate ganache. For this, we need to heat up the remaining 150 ml of double cream and at the same time chop up the 150 grams of dark chocolate. Once the cream has just reached the boil, take it off the heat and throw in the dark chocolate. Stir the mixture constantly until all the dark chocolate has melted and you reach a lovely shiny ganache. Just like with the white chocolate ganache, if not all of the chocolate melts, put it back onto a low heat, stirring all the time until it has all melted. Now leave this to cool slightly at room temperature for only about 10 minutes. Once the dark chocolate ganache has cooled so that it is just warm to the touch and is still liquid, pour it into the tart case. Edge it into the sides and over the top of the raspberries, making sure it's nice and flat on top. Finally, to give the tart an interesting finish, Melt the last 50 grams of white chocolate, drizzle it over the top of the unset ganache, and use a skewer or knife to marble it through to give it a nice finish. Now leave this to set in the fridge for about two more hours. When you come to cutting this tart, it's best to use a hot knife to get a really clean slice. Now all that's left to do is to enjoy the tart. So that's how you make the tart. It's really simple and it's one of actually the easiest tarts that you can do. A ganache is such a great skill to have as you can make it so quickly and it's just delicious. Who doesn't love cream and chocolate? The raspberries are a great addition in this as they sort of cut through all that sweetness. But if you want to leave them out or 
put in strawberries instead, that's completely up to you. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did, please like, share and subscribe and also go and check out some of my other videos that I've linked in the description. Thanks once again for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.